I should really learn to film when there's daylight outside and I'm not sitting in the yellow dorm room. Sorry for using the laptop cam, even though I promised a nice fancy camera. She was not doing so well today with the lighting, so. Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. The first video out this month would be the dorm tour. This video's topic is pet peeves. Yay! So click here for the dorm tour and don't click anywhere for pet peeves because you're watching it. My first pet peeve, gum. I hate the way people chew it or if they play with it or they stick it places that it doesn't belong and the smell of it. I know some people like it because it helps them concentrate or makes their breath smell better. Suck on a mint or a lollipop or a Jolly Rancher. No. No. I don't like gum. People who refuse to open the door or hold the door open for someone who is literally three steps away from them. There is no way you're in that big of a rush. It's just not possible. Just hold the door. One-way friendships. When you have a friend who can't talk about anything except for themselves and their problems and their love life, they're this and they're that, and it's just, come on, ask me how my life is too. Work with me here. Mispronunciation of certain words. Some are right both ways. Some are not. I have a friend who says elementary, and she's not the only one I've heard do it. Names in fictional TV or movie series. You have heard it pronounced. Just say it. It's Aang, not Aang. We don't talk about that movie. It's wrong. PDA. Public display of affection. Get a room. There's a time and place for everything, sweetie, and it is not now. People treating opinions as fact is probably one of my biggest pet peeves. And you can tell because I'm smiling to cover up how frustrated it makes me. This one just makes me so angry. The question, why are you so sure? Because I didn't grow anymore. Genetics. My mom is short. My dad is short. My brother is average height, but no one has to look at him. That's just the way you are. That's the way you're made. That's the way life worked out for you. Congratulations, you're average height. Calling something that someone works really hard at easy annoys me so much. Just because singing or acting or writing comes easily to you does not mean it comes easily to other people. It means you're good at it. Congratulations. When I get challenged about a fandom that I'm in, I'm a huge fan of The Hunger Games. Somebody challenged me on the book compared to the movie, and they were wrong, and I was right. Like, have you met me? Don't challenge me. People who insult other people's fandoms. Just because you don't like something doesn't make it bad. Doctor Who is not weird, you just don't understand the appeal. Degrassi is not stupid, you just don't like it. It's about respect. Just, just respect your fellow people. Makes the world such a better place. Stop one-upping me. Your life may suck, but don't compare it to mine. Don't one-up me. I don't like it. It's annoying. Spoilers. Not even gonna justify that one. Just, no. Spoilers. Spoilers are mean. Needs no justification. Debbie Downers. Just look on the right side. You're not doing anything to make yourself feel better. Be positive because there's so much good for the little bit of bad that you're experiencing. Using the R word and gay to mean stupid. Just say stupid or annoying. You know it's what you mean. You won't think you're stupid for saying stupid. We'll think you're annoying for saying the R word or gay. Like I said before, it's about respect. Those are my 10-ish pet peeves and Mandy's however many pet peeves she has. If you want to hear more pet peeves, then like, subscribe, comment below. See you in March. All right, we're gonna go. We're all done here. Thank you for your time. Let's be clear. Oh.